Hello everyone and welcome to Brandy's Cards. I am so excited to craft with you today. I have our new in colors. That's right. So our in colors are basically colors that Stampin' Up! introduces that last for two years. And so when there's a new annual catalog, there's a new set of in colors. In colors are kind of the trending colors of the season. That's right, so Stampin' Up! watches the color trends and they try to pick those colors as well. And so I'm really excited. We have our new in colors that are launching with our 2022 annual catalog. Now the in colors last two years, 2022 through 2024. Unfortunately, we're saying goodbye to um, some in colors, five in colors, but we've got five new beautiful ones to join us. So today's video, I'm going to share with you, I'm going to introduce the new in colors. At the very end, I'm going to show you some sneak peek of some products that I purchased in the in color colors, but we're also going to do a 10 and 20 today. That's right, 10 cards in 20 minutes. And it is my way um, to mass produce cards. It's, it's a way I love to stamp and make multiples. Um, and I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. But the coolest part about it is we're going to use all of the in colors. That's right. So our 10 and 20 today is going to be an in color card 10 and 20. Oh my goodness. Try to say that like 10 times, right? All right. So let's just jump in. So don't start the clock yet because I'm going to introduce to you the new colors and then we're going to get started stamping. So here's the new in color collection. Absolutely gorgeous. So here, let me kind of share with you the colors. I have... Um, Sweet Sorbet, that's right, Sweet Sorbet, and then we have Orchid Oasis, and then the next one is called Starry Sky, and so that's this color here, and then we have Tahitian Tide, and then we have Parakeet Party. So those are your different in colors that um, are coming in in this new annual catalog that's going to start May 3rd. So very excited about that. Now here, this is what I think is super cool because sometimes you're like, okay, so help me out here. I have some card stock and I'm just kind of wondering where does this actually fit in the color palette? So let me show you this. I have some retired card stock here too. So this card stock is Poppy Parade, which is a current color. And then this one is Real Red. So you have Real Red and you have Poppy Parade. And this one is an old color that's called Ruby Red. This one is called Watermelon Wonder. Again, these two are retired, but these two are still available. So this is Sweet Sorbet. So I'm going to lay that right across that colored cardstock to show you kind of the different, um, the different shades of those colors and our, you know, in our Poppy Parade, Real Red, and then, of course, these are a couple of our other colors that we've had in the past, and then our Sweet Sorbet. So I just thought that was super cool and kind of gives you perspective as to how those look. And um, since these two colors aren't available, let's just go ahead and put them on these two current colors, too, so you can kind of see that. So really fun, pretty cool. So that's Sweet Sorbet. So let's go and move into our next color. So the next color, I'm going to show you Pool Party. Then I'm going to show you um, our Balmy Blue. And then the next one is going to be our old retired color Tempting Turquoise. And then we're going to pull in Tahitian Tide. So check out Tahitian Tide here. So if you look at that, it definitely is a, maybe a little bit brighter than Tempting Turquoise, but if you were a big fan of Tempting Turquoise, you will probably love the Tahitian Tide. It's just a bit brighter. This is probably a bit deeper in color. So very pretty. Oh, I was just so excited about that. All right, so let's move on to the next color. The next color that we're going to look at is, let's see, this one is called Orchid Oasis. And so here is a Highland Heather. And then this is a lovely Lilac. Do you remember when we had that color? Oh my gosh, it's been a while since we had that color. So check out this one. This one's called Orchid Oasis. And so you can kind of see that on top of those colors. It definitely, when you look at it like this, it kind of has a little bit more blue in it. 
um, but just to kind of show you some of the, the differences of the cardstocks here and how they kind of fit in. So here we go. Let's move on to the next color. So here's the next one. We have Pear Pizzazz. This one is Old Olive, although it's not marked, but that's what it is. I know that. So Old Olive Pear Pizzazz. And I have a retired color called Lemon Lime Twist. That was a fun color. And then here is some Granny Apple Green. So let's took it, take a look at these colors. And here is Parakeet Party. So you can see the Parakeet Party, the Lemon Lime Twist was kind of more bright and limey. This one is kind of uh, definitely got a little bit of a, maybe more greens in it, right? So just really fun and it kind of puts it into perspective as you look at those colors. All right, so the final one we have here is called Starry Sky. So I pulled um, Concord Crush, which is a retired color. And I also pulled a current color, Night of Navy. So let's take a look at those two colors and let's bring in Starry Sky. So check that out. So that's kind of, um, you know, a little bit of a more of a blue, right? Um, it's just really neat when you compare these colors. It's like, wow. Um, so that is our starry sky. And um, I just, I love all of these colors. I'm super excited about um, some fresh colors for our color palette. It's just one of my most favorite things to do. So here is a new product that we're gonna use. It's called Sending Smiles. Here, let me show it to you. Um, this is fun, Sending Smiles. You can stamp the sending and then die cut it out. Of course, it's got all these fantastic flowers and um, these different little sentiments in there. So I am super excited to show you exactly how I created with this set. Um, and so you can purchase these two items as a bundle, but not until May 3rd when that catalog goes live. Okay, so on to my favorite part, which is stamping and a 10 and 20 video. So 10 and 20 video, today we're gonna use the in colors, that's right, I promised you, we are going to use all of the in colors today. So I'm gonna bring them all over here. You're gonna to wanna to get everything ready to go. So why don't I go ahead and open these and then I'm gonna show you exactly how I created my in color card today and I'm gonna show you how I do my 10 and 20s, okay? All right, so I have my cardstock cut and ready yeah, that's right. All I have here is my white cardstock. Can you believe that? Pretty cool. So we're going to start out. You're going to need a pierce mat. And so do I have my pierce mat out here? It doesn't look like it. So let me grab a pierce mat. The reason that we need a pierce mat is because we're going to be stamping with photopolymer, right? So here we go. I'm going to just make sure that I have my, my stamps in order. So here, we're gonna start out with sending, and I'm gonna ink this up in Starry Sky. Now you are welcome to start your clock now. I'm just gonna stamp that down and straight up. Now I like to kind of let stuff, you know, dry a little bit as I start stamping. So I try not to put it on top of each other, but I have 10 of these right here, and I'm just inking it up, and I'm stamping it straight down and straight up. Now the cool thing about this stamp is that you can actually die cut the word sending out and you can pop it up. That's right. So I'm going to show you what that looks like when we're done today and um, you can check that out. It looks so neat and it's so neat that you can change these different sentiments as well. So for example, sending a card to say hello, sending a card to send you hugs, love and hugs. You've got lots of options here. Um, sending you birthday wishes, all kinds of stuff. So that's what I love about this stamp set. Not to mention the beautiful flowers that you can make and all the fantastic colors. Okay, so there you go. So that was Starry Sky. Now I'm gonna move on to sending a card an orchid oasis, sending a card, um, a card to say hello. So this is orchid oasis. And so I'm just inking that up and I'm gonna stamp that right underneath. Now it is actually a lighter color, quite a bit lighter. So it might be hard to see on camera, 
but it actually is quite a bit lighter. And so anybody who placed an order with me last month, I will be sending you this card with your host code gift. That's right. My host code gifts are my way to thank my customers and, um, and to give back and to help them get a gift. Um, you know, by using the host code, I earn host rewards that I can cash in and purchase a gift on your behalf. And I love to do that. I love to send you a card, tutorials, and what I call happy mail that I hope comes to you when you're least expecting it. So that's why I love my happy mail is I hope that it arrives and puts a big old smile on your face and gets your mojo going when you see um, what the contents are. Okay, so now we're gonna move on. I have a leaf here. So now we've used two of the three colors. Now I'm going to use the Parakeet Party. We're gonna ink up Parakeet Party and I'm going to place my stamp so that the stem kind of comes right in between here, in between the D and the I. That's right. So Parakeet Party is just gonna kind of be my stem and it's gonna kind of go right between those two letters. I kind of liked it in there like it was maybe, instead of a flower pot, it was sort of <laughs> growing out of there, right? So that's pretty fun. So again, just kind of moving through. I have all of my cardstock cut and ready to go. So that makes it super easy to stamp like this. And remember, you have lots of different sentiments. So if you wanted to, you could set some aside and instead of a card to say hello, maybe you switch it up and put something different. Okay, so now we have Parakeet Party. So let's move on to Sweet Sorbet. So Sweet Sorbet is gonna be this beautiful flower. And I'm gonna ink that up. I do kind of like it over here on my space so I can just kind of pick it up and go. And so this one, wait till you see how beautiful that is when you stamp this one down. Oh, isn't that just gorgeous? It just comes right to life, doesn't it? You can see where I'm going with this. And so I'm just gonna add my flowers. You're gonna wanna ink it up every single time. Otherwise, you're gonna get a lighter flower, right? If you didn't ink it up and you just continued to stamp, then it would get lighter and lighter and lighter. So if that's your look you're going for, that's perfectly fine. But if not, you're gonna wanna re-ink it up. That's right. Just ink it back up and you should be good to go. Oh my goodness. I love this. I will turn on TV and just stamp my heart out. <laughs> I just love, love, love this so very much. Okay, so now I just used all five. Oh no, I didn't use the blue yet. But before I do the Tahitian Tide, I'm gonna grab Daffodil Delight. And I am going to just quickly stamp the center of my flowers. So here we go. I am gonna actually leave it layered up. I don't mind that what at, what at all, you know, because I'm just, I don't have any ink on my block. Now, you know, in the event that potentially you rock, you might want to move them because if you get ink on your block and you rock, you might stamp on, you know, on top of your card. So. It's probably better just to do one at a time. That would make most sense. So we're just going to ink that up, stamp that down, and I have another one, and another one, and then my last one is right here. Now, what I decided is that I wanted to use this beautiful flower. I loved the way that the sweet sorbet and the par uh, parakeet party looked together with that daffodil delight. So I decided that I needed a Daffodil Delight flower right over here. Oh, isn't that beautiful? I just loved it. So can you see this flower with pinks and purples and oh my goodness, oranges and yellows and all kinds of fantastic colors. I think the possibilities are probably endless with this stamp set. Um, you know, so many possibilities. But today I was really excited to show you how, um, you know, how fun it was to kind of put this together using all of our new in-color cards and of course a new product. Many of you have been asking me, please, please, please show us some new products from your, um, your pre-order. So that's what this is. 
Now I'm going to bring Sweet Sorbet back in and I'm just going to stamp Sweet Sorbet right there and the, oh, doesn't that look so pretty? Oh my gosh, so, so pretty. So there's another one. And so I am almost done with the front of this card. But as you know, I have not used Tahitian Tide yet. So what should we do with Tahitian Tide? Can anybody guess? <laughs> if you're liking my video today or you like my 10 and 20 videos, I would love for you to click the like button. That's right, if you could click the like button and subscribe, that would be fantastic. Then I would be sure to send you updates um, when I post new videos and of course if there's any promotions or things that are going on. So uh, definitely click the like button if you're enjoying these. I get requests for 10 and 20 videos all the time and it just makes me so happy because I love to do them myself. Okay, so I'm gonna set these aside and now what I'm gonna do is I have 10 card bases that I've already cut and um, all I need to do is just fold them. I've already pre-scored these 10 card bases and so I generally just kind of, believe it or not, I kind of tuck them underneath my belly and I just kind of fold them. Of course you can use your bone folder. Because I've scored them, I'm still getting a really nice crease. Um, but you can certainly use your bone folder to get a, um, you know, to burnish that crease and to make it nice and super flat. So that was 10 card bases. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Tahitian Tide. But before I do that, we're gonna use our Parakeet Party one more time. So they have a small stem inside here as well. So check this out. We gotta bring our pierce mat back in because we're going photopolymer. So I am going to stamp my stem. So there's one. And this is actually going to be the inside of my card. I know, I'm getting tricky on you here. And so the reason that I'm doing this is because I find it's just easier than to open the card up. If I just stamp it like this, it is so much easier than opening the card up and holding it open and that sort of thing. So that's why I'm doing it this way. So now I have my 10 um, stems stamped. So now I'm gonna pull in Tahitian Tide. That's right, and I'm gonna ink that up and check out Tahitian Tide. Ooh, so pretty, so pretty. So I'm gonna go through and just stamp those for you really quick. And then I thought potentially it would be nice maybe to stamp a message on the inside too. What do you think? A lot of times I get emails going, Brandy, could you please decorate the inside of the card for me? And um, so I was excited. I was, when I was trying to put this card together for my customers, I was like, okay, well, I wanna use all of those in colors and I needed to use Tahitian Tide. So I thought that that was a perfect way to do it is to put it on the inside. All right. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna close that up because I am done with Tahitian Tide and I'm gonna bring back in Daffodil Delight. And so, here we go, another round. So this one is Daffodil Delight, and I'm gonna stamp right there. Oh, isn't that so pretty? So pretty. So I'm just kind of stamping the center of my flower. And of course, there are like, I think there's another flower or two in this stamp set. So you can certainly change it up or do something different if you'd like. But I just thought this was really, really pretty, just this way. Um, and so you can just kind of see, I'm just kind of picking it up one at a time, setting them aside. And remember I mentioned that I wanted to do another sentiment. Well, let's do it. So, the, excuse me, I almost have a sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I've never sneezed on camera before. Oh my goodness, that's funny. Okay, so um, in the front it says sending a card it says sending a card to say hello, and I'm gonna put on the inside loves and hugs. So it could be sending loves and hugs too, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Sending love and big hugs. And in this case, I am trying to get my stem sort of between the and sign and the big. That's kind of where I'm trying to put that. 
And I'm just inking it up and stamping it down, just like that, inking it up. Oh, I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. This stamp set is going to be a favorite, I think. There's just, it's so versatile and you can just really, you know, change up these flowers and have lots of fun with color. I think that's what I loved is that, you know, I could just really play with these new bright colors and they just, you know, they just highlight themselves, don't they? They just go, oh my gosh, you have got to have me. <laughs> They're so pretty. So, so very pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and you see, I'm gonna fold this back. So now this is the top of my card. So I'm gonna fold it and fold it. This is actually how I do it, believe it or not. I know you're probably thinking, really? You like tuck it under your tummy? Sort of, it's not really under my tummy, but I'm kind of leaning up against my, um, my table here. And I just kind of fold it. And now I am back to where I need to be. This is all the very top of my cards. So I'm gonna set my pierce mat aside and I better close my stamp pads. I know that I'm under a, you know, I'm, you're being timed, but that's okay. Um, again, it's really not about how fast I'm stamping. That is not what this video is about, but it's really more so about showing you how to do, um, you know, to make quantities of cards or to make multiples. I know some of my customers have church ministries or you might um, make cards for the, you know, the church or for, you know, a local hospital or a children's hospital or whatever the charity might be. And so for that reason, I think it's important to kind of see how you can put together multiple cards um, at one time. So this is just the fronts that we stamped. So now what I'm going to do is I just, you saw me just lay all of these out, right? And so I'm going to grab a Stampin' Dimensional here. So you saw me lay all of these out. And so I'm just going to go right along here and add my Stampin' Dimensionals to my card backs. That's right. So you can see I'm actually going to, when I do it, I add it to all of them. I add it to every single one before I take any of my backs off because I find that it just saves me a little bit of time if I, if I just add them all at once and then I can go through and focus on taking them off. That's right. And so these are our Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm sure if I asked, many of you would say it's one of your favorite products. I know it's definitely one of mine. And uh, we also have mini glue dots. Um, we have mini Stampin' Dimensionals as well. So if you've not seen those, you definitely want to check those out. We also have black. So if you don't like the white and you're using kind of a darker cardstock, you might consider purchasing our black Stampin' Dimensionals. Um, I do have a video in my beginner series that talks about adhesive. And I go over all of the different types of adhesives and I show you how everything works. Everything from foam strips to liquid adhesive to snail or to the Stampin' Seal, all of that good stuff. So definitely um, be sure to go to brandyscards.com slash beginners and you'll be able to find those videos. That's right. And for those of you that might be just joining me, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please let me know. I'd love the opportunity to help you and to earn your business and answer any questions you might have. You would just go to brandyscards.com slash contact and um, email me. Let me know how I can help you. Let me know what questions you have. If you're a beginner stamper, you know, sometimes it can be overwhelming, I tell you. Um, but that's not what I want for you. I want you to have fun and see that it's doable and that you need paper, ink, and stamps. That's right. Some paper, ink, and stamps. As I'm showing you here today, we're using basic white cardstock and ink and a stamp set. And we have made almost 10 cards here. We're getting there. So you can use a take your pick tool or you can, you know, just kind of pick them off like I'm doing. I generally do it just like this. Um, I, you know, I know some demonstrators, they will use their take your pick tool, the little pierced side and kind of pull those right up. I, um, you know, I just like to kind of use my fingers and go for it. 
you know, sometimes it works in my favor. Sometimes it might take me a little bit longer, but that doesn't bother me at all. So I'm just pulling these up. And then once I pull them up, we're gonna put them on our card base. That's right. So if you're looking for the sizes and the dimensions, they're going to be on brandyscards.com. And if you click on my blog, you should see them there. And um, you know, you should see the post that says sending smiles. Um, you're gonna wanna click on that. And I, uh, I'll have a PDF tutorial for you to download so that um, you can see exactly how I did this card, the colors that I use, the sizes and the dimensions, so that you can recreate it at home, okay? So that will be available to you. All right, so I'm gonna set those aside. I'm gonna just kind of make myself a little space and I am going to center my pretty flowers. That's right, and so this is exactly how I would do this. I just start sticking them down. This part is, you know, this part is the super fast part, right? Because it's, well, it doesn't have to be super fast, but um, now that you have everything stamped and you have all your dimensionals down, well, this part is pretty easy. You just kind of stick it right on top of your card front, um, you know, because we've already stamped the inside and I shared with you my little trick on, you know, stamping that inside piece. So I've got, looks like three more or so here. I am gonna set that yellow stamp pad aside. I am nervous that I'm gonna set something in it. Okay, so there is this one. And then we have another one, just like that. And then the very last one, perfect. So there's our very last one. Now we get to embellish. So when I embellish my cards, you know, it just sort of depends really on, um, you know, what the embellishment is. But in this case, I know where my embellishment is gonna go. So I would probably just lay my cards out, kind of like that, really. And here I go. This is what my plan is, is I have my small little butterflies and I want one butterfly to be going that direction. So I basically, by having them all sort of laid out, I can just kind of, you know, go down the line here and add my little um, butterflies. These are called um, brush brass butterflies. They are so pretty. Oh yes, they are gorgeous. So I'm gonna set another one here, and then I'm gonna take and go back and sort of put my little small guy going off in that direction. So now these two I can set aside and I can go back in and start with my large ones again and just add those to my card front. So really cool. This is your take your pick tool that I was telling you about, right? So it's got these um, interchangeable ends where you can add different tools for different things. So I'm using the little spatula piece. That's my favorite piece to get in underneath these little butterflies and other embellishments. So I'm just kind of adding those to my cards and we are almost done. That's right, so fun, right? I hope that you're enjoying this video. I have certainly enjoyed sharing with you. If you could give me a thumbs up and click that like button, I sure would appreciate that. And if you haven't done so already, please be sure and subscribe. Um, I love to share different ideas that I have and we do some Friday night fun night lives as well. All right, so here you go. So those are 10 of these fantastic cards um, using the in colors. And remember, we stamped Tahitian Tide on the inside. Now here, check this one out. Remember I showed you these dies. So here, let's pull out the stamp set and you've got sending and you've got your different sentiments. So the cool thing is you can stamp the word sending and here, let me show you from one of these cards, actually. So you can stamp the word sending and you can die cut that out, all right? And then when you do, check out this card. This one, I die cut sending and I also die cut the flower. So those are actually popped up and it just kind of gives it another bit of dimension. So really a lot of fun and really easy to create. Now, of course, with this one, I also wanted to show you how beautiful your envelope could be decorated as well. 
So here, check out this one. So here is my Parakeet Party, some Daffodil Delight, Sweet Sorbet, and look at that, that's super fun. So you can actually donate, um, you can not donate, but you can um, stamp and decorate the back of your envelope flap as well. So that's pretty cool. And again, it's all those in colors, Tahitian Tide, you know, Orchid, Oasis, um, you know, Parakeet Party, Starry Sky. So they're all right there for you. Or you could just maybe stamp your flower on the front. So that is 10 cards in 20 minutes. I hope that, um, I hope that I've inspired you to try to make some multiple cards. There's lots of people that you could send them to. Um, there's lots of folks that would love your beautiful card donations as well. Um, you know, anywhere from the Ronald McDonald house says, um, houses out there to senior centers, to nursing homes, to you name it, veterans. There's lots of opportunities. And of course, to your friends and family, right? So make sure that you get those out there. Now, before I go, I wanna show you just a few in-color products that I have here. Check out this. This is our in-color glimmer paper. Absolutely gorgeous glimmer paper. Oh my goodness, I just love it so much. So there's, um, there's the different colors there. And that one's Tahitian Tide, Parakeet Party, and Sweet Sorbet. So beautiful. And then we also have these beautiful ribbons that also coordinate with these in colors. And so these ribbon, they're called the, let me tell you what it's called. It's the Metallic Woven, woven Ribbon. <laughs> and I have actually tied bows with these because they are so pleasant. Some ribbon, it's hard to tie bows. But as you can see, this, this ribbon ties beautiful beautiful bows and it's kind of that metallic-y feel to it. Really, really fun. Super, super cool. So not only do we have the glimmer paper in the in colors, the new colors, we've got the beautiful ribbon, but we also have some designer series paper as well. So this is the new in color designer series paper. And I always love this paper because I like that I can get the same patterns in the different colors, right? So that's what I like about this paper. Really, really nice. So that would be one side of the paper. And let's flip it over, because you know there's two sides to every designer series paper. And there's the other. So really pretty and just such a nice, um, a nice option, nice options there to pick from when you're crafting. Now check out these cards and envelopes. Oh my goodness. Yes, I just opened this pack and I'm in love. So these are card bases. So you could, you know, you could stamp anything on it or you could put, um, you know, a basic white image or layer it with other card stocks. But check out the envelopes that coordinate. Oh my gosh, they are so beautiful. So I will definitely um, be using these at some point in one of my videos. Absolutely love them so much. Um, and again, it just kind of gives you a starting place with the uh, beautiful coordination already. All right, and then of course, lastly, um, before I go, of course we have Stampin' Blends and we have our normal um, Stampin' Write markers. So these are our alcohol markers. There are blending markers, so you could certainly color with those or our regular stamp and write markers. So I think as of right now, that is the in colors that I have. Of course, you're gonna need a stamp pad and we've got the re-inkers too. Um, so you could also purchase those. And I highly recommend it when you purchase in colors to always get the re-inkers so that you always have um, a way to re-ink them. So I hope that you enjoyed my video today. If you haven't done so already, please give me a thumbs up. I hope you were inspired by all of these wonderful cards that we made together using the In Colors um, inks, In Colors for you, and that you're inspired to uh, get crafting today. Most importantly, as you craft, I hope that you're thinking about um, who you're gonna send your cards to because as card makers, um, we have a gift and we can bless others and send like, what does this say? Send love and big hugs through the mail. Um, and let somebody know that we're thinking about them and that we miss them 
or just a, you know a simple thank you um, or that we're praying for them so I love um, I love our cards for that reason so definitely be sure to send your cards that's most important here so thank you for joining me if you're finding my channel and you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator please be sure to reach out to me I'd love the opportunity to help you earn your business answer any questions you have and of course I have a beginner series it's called brandyscards.com slash beginners if you go there I, I go through different inks different markers different card stocks so that you can kind of get the lay of the land and we also talk about card kits so you can get started stamping right away thank you so much for joining me everybody take care bye now